Well, hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to a brand new exciting product uh, using any wire technology. And uh, we have here a transmitter TP315-103. We also have a receiver which is TP315-104. And this is going to be demonstration of how we can transmit HDMI 1080p full stream over extension power cable. All right, so this is the TP115-103 and we have HDMI input, we have HDMI output and we also have infrared output for IR blaster. It's a full 15 amp circuit here so we can have a full 15 amp load. On the output side we have four power output connectors. Now these power connectors already have HDMI embedded into the power. So power cord comes in, plugs into the AC socket, HDMI plugs in, output goes to local monitor, and now you have four outputs, power outputs, each one has embedded HDMI signal. Okay? I'm going to use Apple TV as my video source. This Apple TV is set up uh, for 1080p and I uh, will connect it to the input, to the HDMI input. So now we have basically set up our transmitter. We have the power, we have the source, you can use laptop if you need to, and we have four power ports out that we can use on the extension cable. So we have four power outputs on our transmitter. Here I have four extension cords. Each extension cord is 100 feet. At the end of the extension cord, I have a receiver, so we're embedding the HDMI signal into the power cord, then we put it into the receiver, and out of the receiver comes HDMI signal going to the monitor, and at the same time monitor is powered by the same box because you have power extension cord. So we have four monitors right now, so we can look at it as a distribution amplifier. One in, four out distribution amplifier for HDMI signal and also power for the uh, monitors. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in each of the power cords. And remember, we already have HDMI embedded into the power here. And I should be able to get four images on all four monitors. So the monitors are booting up right now. Also, the receivers are getting power from the same extension power cord. Once they all sync, so there's one monitor synchronized already. And this monitor, large monitor, says that it's ready. It's going to be detecting the signal. Second monitor is synchronized, third and fourth. So what we have right now is a single power cord coming into the unit. We have HDMI signal embedded in the power cords. You can now have a digital signage just using the power extension cord that you can get from Home Depot and just connect the monitor on the other end with the receiver and you can get your HDMI signal. The important part is that this is a one-way transmission. That means that HDMI signal is not fed back into the power circuit and only fed to the extension cables. Therefore, you can have multiple of these transmitters plugged into the, into the same AC power outlet and uh, distribute multiple different signals. Now, as always, with the uh, AnyWire systems, there's a, uh, if you have a different signals, you have to keep the cables away from each other. But if they're the same signal type, like in this case we have four monitors displaying the same thing, they don't interfere with each other. So you can overlay them, put them close together, there's no issues. You can bundle them, they're all going to be working. And in this case you can see that we have all four monitors working at the same time, and each one is driven by HDMI, and each one is powered. Now you can notice that the receiver has four AC out outputs. And the reason is if you need to plug any type of accessories. If you want to plug in a uh, router or some kind of media player, you can still have AC outlet available. But, uh, and the any wire is embedded into these connectors also. So now not only it's embedded um, in here, but the output also has any wire. So if you need to extend it longer than this power cord, you can put another 100 foot power cord and put a monitor on the other end and you still have your any wire connection. All right, that concludes our demonstration of a new system with any wire transmitter to four power outlets 
Each of them have HDMI embedded in them, and then four receivers that can receive the signal display the monitor. You don't have to connect four of them. You can connect one, two, three, or four. Either, either way, it's going to work. 